guys you read the title you've seen the custom thumbnail today i am riding an ajp pr4 200 enduro <laughs> Now this is a trails bike. This is for off-roading. It, it comes with a, the number plate and everything, but it is an off-road bike. Now, I will be doing a whole new first ride of it when it gets its uh, dirt wheels back on to take it down some green lanes like that. But you can see it's kind of, it's already been taken down a couple, but they've chucked it over uh, to supermoto conversion, which I think looks really cool. Now, this isn't really a first ride because I've technically already done this video uh that's because i had some audio issues you'll be seeing clips in this video from that video i did just because i, I want to use some of the stuff you'll notice i'll go from textile to levers um i did a zero to 60 and stuff but the audio might be terrible in some places because basically uh the the mic adapter broke so you don't get my my voice you just get wind noise it just sucks uh so technically i've already done this bit so i'll chuck in some other some bits from that i did a rev up and stuff ignore this ghetto ass setup this is actually a modify uh this is actually an aftermarket horn and uh i took it around cheddar today and it kind of broke off like the whole bracket snapped off and he actually had two on there at one point one of the mouse fell off so um yeah think different horn so i just zip tied it there for now because it was a uh, rattling but it's not anymore so the ajp pr4 200 i believe they are from portugal uh from the research i've done if not correction on the screen i filled it up with fuel as well you'll see that in the video it takes about probably about seven liters uh, in that tank it's got no fuel gauge obviously the dash is pretty basic you got miles an hour and it's only done 2,600 miles, which already 100 miles of those are mine. Buttons are pretty basic. These are your lights. So I'm on normal running lights. That's your high beams. Uh, I think that's just... I don't know what that is. Running light or something. I don't know. Uh, that horn. Sounds pretty funny, doesn't it? Uh, it's like the, the Husqvarna Supermoto. You have the fuel tank at the back. Which I think is pretty cool. Uh, stock exhaust, but... I think it's a stock exhaust. It's got AJP on it. Uh, but the guy whose bike this is did a little modification and he actually took the baffle out and drew some more holes in there. Which means this rattles a little bit now. That's an easy fix. And the bike's a little bit louder. You see the zip tires holding the rear up. This is where it's just it's snapped off. I think that's all stock, which I really like these. Playing with them. I don't know why. Uh, some Guy Martin stickers on. JT, JT, re, JT, JT Racing, JT, fuck, JT, J, brr, JT Racing, it's got a lithium ion battery, Ooh. BMW, lithium battery, uh, it does have a kickstart, but with these aftermarket po uh, pegs, <laughs> kind of hits there, you have to kind of lift that up and stuff, um, it's got all red frame, adjustable suspension, Pretty sure that's like a quick release headlight and stuff. Just pretty cool. Rentful bar. Don't think this is this is Rikon. Some pro taper grips, some uh, bark busters, a little folding mirror, rentful bar pad, abaco. I think that's how you say it. Uh, pegs. I think that's all. Of it. Some stickers and stuff. So as well as the supermoto wheels, what I didn't realise at this time is the gearing has changed on the bike. So that means the sprocket sizes have changed. So with the supermoto wheels, he's gone one up on the front, so it's a 14 front sprocket, and on the rear, it's a 42 rear sprocket. Uh, so the gearing's much higher for higher speeds and stuff, because I believe the guy who owned the bike, he did motorway speeds and stuff. So that's why the bike isn't as torquey as it might be. But if you want to see it where it's bone stock, torquiness is still there, wait until I upload the full ride with the the off-road wheels as i put the stock sprockets back on so stay tuned for that it'll be out very very soon subscribe so you don't miss it peace um what else can i say it's a little 200 cc 
off-road bike uh, right now in supermoto conversion now I'm going to do a couple of tests I'm going to ride around here for a bit um, and I'm going to show you it around twisties around cheddar um, unfortunately the roads were wet then so I didn't thrash it a lot but if you're watching this video either you're one of my subscribers and you're watching this because you want to watch me or you are actually interested in this bike and if you are interested in this bike then I salute you because even I didn't know what an AJP was and that's just because they're very rare even rarer than Husqvarna's like I've never even heard of an AJB before it's an awesome bike don't get me wrong they are absolutely built quality wise is insane quality wise is insane built amazing run amazing um, they're just rare now this is my third video in the first ride series I've done an R3 with well, my personal R3 and I did an RC125 you can check those videos down in the description as well they'll pop up in cards during this video hey we've got some dirt bikes here you alright? Ah. no 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 I've got road tyres on this thing at the moment so 125 mate? 200 is it? yeah that go right then? yeah yeah it's good fun yeah. It's a uh, AJP, uh, Portuguese. Yeah, uh, all by myself, like, you know. <laughs> shame. Same as you, innit? All by yeah. yourself? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Just fucking go for a ride, do you? Yeah. I've got um, an R3 as well. Oh, yeah. I like to bomb round on. It's all good yeah. fun, innit? Yeah, until you hit a fucking wall. <laughs> Killing 100 miles an hour, yeah. Alright, let's go, mate. Stay safe. Yeah. I don't think it's as fast as that. <laughs> anyway, let's carry on. Um, yeah, so I've got my, my H2 recorder over there, so we'll do a little rev up of the uh, exhaust. That sounds like an SV650. Hold it. That thing's he's flying as well. Nice. Anyway, let's start it up. bad looking bike is it so guys what else can i say but let's just jump on and ride it i will have to be filling up with fuel because it hasn't got much fuel fuel left so we'll see how much fuel it takes probably does about 50 miles to the gallon somewhere around there about the same as the r3 now i am a small rider i'm a short guy and ajp 200 with the supermotor tires on i'm on tippy toes i tend to just hang my ass off a little bit so you guys, small, small guys, scared of getting a dirt bike or whatever, please don't be, seriously. I've sat on CRF 250Xs, 250Rs, and as long as you kind of hang your ass off, I'm 5 foot 5, hang your ass off, you'll be fine. It's a bit scary on hills and stuff. Um, more so downhills, I think. Um, other than that, it's fine. I like to, with the power of this thing, I think it kind of compares to and my KTM So a brief history about the AJP bikes, you can just go on their wiki, AJP Motos, and it will explain everything. In 1981, at age 22, Antonio Pinto uh, opened a motorcycle repair shop. It wasn't until 2001 they did the AJP PR4125, 
and uh, not long after 200. In 2007, they did the PR3. In 2009, they released the PR5 with a, a, a 25 brake horsepower 250 engine. You can check out all these bikes. But the PR4 200, all the specs will be down in the description. The PR4 200 is a single cylinder, four stroke, two valve engine. It does 18 brake horsepower at 8,000 revs uh, and has 15.5 newton meters of torque. Now, seat height says it's 919 millimeters, but it feels a lot lower than that. And with the seat being so comfy and the suspension being quite soft, as soon as you sit on it, it will sink down and you'll be perfectly fine. It's got a 6.8 litre tank and that's pretty much it, it's a sweet bike. Let's carry on to the stuff you want to know. setup it handles absolutely amazingly like it, you can chuck this thing in corners so well I will be throwing in other clips of me riding it took out the cheddar it was a little bit wet so I didn't thrash it through there That gets cold and not convertible. <laughs> Chasing a Toyota, something or another. Through the rain, through cheddar. Hashtag not clip me. Well, they follow us that half. They got more grip than me through the corners. Taking possibilities. Oh, he went for the overtake. It was a risky move, but he took it. And now he's in the lead. I did have a bits and bobs. The throttle response is insanely good, as you can see. Just a little tap. You can adjust that obviously with a clutch cable and shit, uh, throttle cable, not clutch, throttle cable and stuff, but it is an awesomely fun bike, like seriously fun. Suspension is set up perfectly, it's obviously not a road bike, it is set up for off-road and enduro, like you, you, can buy, you buy them uh, and they are meant for, they're dual sports, they're on-road and on-road, but it is mainly set up for dirt bike, uh, for off-roading, but it flies over potholes and stuff. Speedo's off very slightly, two, three miles an hour. It's a 2011 bike, so it's what, six years old now? So it has its bits and bobs. Ready? Woo. With most dirt bikes, it feels like you're sat on a, a two by four, a plank of wood, basically. There's, there's no feeling of that on this. It is a ridiculously comfy seat. It's probably comfier than the Grom seat. It, it's really spongy. It's fucking lush. 
you are sat up, sat up right, you feel tall. It's not a super tall bike compared to other dirt bikes like KTMs and Yamahas and stuff. But it is, it is a reasonably tall bike. It's old school, it's got a choke and stuff. One down, four up. It will easily do 50, 60 miles an hour. I think top end, you're probably looking about a little over 80 miles an hour. I'm not gonna be doing a top speed run today, but I am planning on going to a, an airstrip and doing a top speed run on the R3 soon. So see if this thing can come along too. But even that top end, it's still got that that speed up there it is really good. Like obviously it is off-roading, so most of the power is low down. But being a little 200, it it, it has got pickup. Like it is there. Now I did take it off-roading or slight green lane in with the suit motor wheels. I'll throw in that clip there. Obviously the audio is not great because of my audio problems recently, but I'll chuck it in there, maybe a little bit of music or something. bike feels like you should be stood up on it and th that's really what it is because it is basically an off-road bike that is what this is built for it handles supermoto absolutely fine like it, it loves it but you know you i don't know why i just nodded to a cyclist <laughs> you, you are you just get that expression that it needs to be in dirt trim All the switches, everything feels like you should be uh, off-roading it. Which is what, mate, I've seen this guy's garage before. He's got some really old-school BMWs and bikes. Look at that thing. That is awesome, see? Really old-school bikes in there. The front brake is just insanely good. Rear brake's a bit spongy, a bit like the R3s. The R3's brakes are just terrible. Ready, we'll give it a little oomph up here. Sounds great too, it really does. But uh, as I was saying about the switches, oh god, my um... <laughs> My battery of my GoPro is falling off. I just saw it flapping then. Oh shit, I have to put that in my pocket real quick. Where's my pocket? There we go. Yeah, as I was saying about the switches, this is the indicator, right? right there's no one behind me. That's on, so I'm indicating right right now. Normally, on most bikes, you have to push it in to cancel. You actually have to flick this one back into the middle. Now you can do that with most other bikes as well, but normally that push-in functions are uh, quite nice. Sorry for my shouting, I can't actually hear my voice over this uh, over this exhaust. What's happened here? Has he crashed or we got filming going on? Hey, we got some filming going on here. The new CBR 600 over now. Hey, no way, is that... What's that? What was that? 44 teeth? Right, hold on. 
Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to turn around as quick as possible and see if I can talk with these guys. Seen through glass and now possibly 44 teeth. to find out. I need... that is, isn't it? I, I, that's funny. You feel with 44 teeth? No, fast bites. Oh. I, I, I just drove past, I was like, I, I recognise him. <laughs> <laughs> ah, fair enough. Okay. Yeah, not too bad. Uh, an AJP. Uh, picked right. up. Yeah, I picked it up uh, a couple of days ago. Yeah? Um, the guy I bought it off put it in a supermoto conversion. It's, it's good fun to ride. Yeah, is it the UK Chinese bike, right? They're a Portuguese. Is it? Yeah. Well, the research I did, apparently, Portuguese. Um, they're not bad. They're quite expensive, um, apparently. I got that one for quite cheap, but... It's only a little... That one's a little 200, but yeah. Is it? It's good fun. It's good fun. I got a, an R3 as well and a, and a Grom. Nice. So. Nice little collection. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I'll leave you filming, I won't bother you. No hey, worries, mate. Hey. Enjoy the filming. Oh, See you later. Remember, watch Not one or the other. Do both. both. Yeah. <laughs> What are the chances of that? She's not filming the 44 t but for fast bikes. Love it, man. What the fuck? What the actual fuck? Oh, awesome. <laughs> oh, I can't believe that. Oh, that's funny. Anyway, back onto this. Well, I think that's kind of the best way to tell you this little secret is this is a first ride. This isn't someone else's bike. This is my new bike. Might get a spam card out, chuck it to him. Right. Just gonna be really annoying. No, you're right. And chuck you one of them. What is it? A little spam card thing. <laughs> Enjoy! It vibrates a lot. When I mean smooth, like smooth over bumps and lumps and humps and shumps and fucking sleeper policemen. But uh, the bike actually vibrates a hell of a lot. You will overtake cyclists with ease if the mic works on this. Which only sometimes it does. It cracks and pops and it's, it's really horrible, so I apologise for that. The low down power on this is, is really fucking good. Top end, it kind of drags after about 50 miles an hour. And it always feels like it needs one more gear. I don't know why, but it always does. It could be a little bit more engine braking. Hey, that's a little trails bike. Has he got a number plate on that thing? I don't think he does. I 
I saw you go past, I was like, is that a trails bike? And I was like, that's well cool. That was the first ever trails bike I've ever seen. And he was a nice guy. Oh, that was awesome. I, I, I was actually thinking about getting one of them. Uh, just because they are, they're small, they're low, they're lightweight, they are great fun. That little 250, that would fly, being two stroke as well. Fucking hell. Fly along the dirt tracks. But they're, they're quite expensive, to be fair. Especially beta as well. I think you said it was Spanish, I think it's actually Italian. But they're great fun. I've always wanted a test ride one. I think he did actually say for me to sit on it, but. Nah, because it would make me want to fucking get one, I can't. Not after I've just bought this thing. <laughs> but this does the job just like fine for me. It's, it's lightweight, it's, it's good for me to learn on. That's what I want. Eventually I'll upgrade to like a 450 or something. I'll have to fucking lower the thing, but nah, this is fine for me. Great fun. See guys, I take this little time off from making videos because I wasn't feeling it. I wasn't feeling the excitement I used to and I come back and I meet famous YouTubers and get to talk to a guy on a trails bike. It's shit like this that makes you think and how lucky I am. Before I started YouTube I wouldn't even have talked to any of them guys. Uh, I would be so fucking nervous. I was so shy. Now I, don't, I pull over and I'll talk to them because it's awesome, and it's awesome to share this stuff with you guys. So guys, I really want to say thanks for watching. I always seem to end it on this roundabout. I don't know why. I want to say thank you to every one of you for watching this video, especially you guys to watch it to the end. I really fucking appreciate that. Guys and girls, and the 2% of you. <laughs> yeah guys, I appreciate it. Yeah, a little CRF250. I'll see you in the next video guys, peace.